Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, the number one place for new dropshippers and e-commerce store owners to come learn and get inspired to continue doing your e-commerce journey. I know it gets hard, I know it gets tough, I know there's problems, and I'm here to help you get past it. Because remember, only 1% of people get to the top. And what's gonna differentiate you from the other 99% of people is that you are gonna keep on going and you're not gonna stop. Let's get started. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about stores. What kind of store do you make? You've probably just started drop shipping and you're hearing people talking about one product stores, niche stores, general stores. What do you sell? I was in your exact same spot about a year ago when I first started my drop shipping store. It was an environmental store. I sold like reusable um, straws, bamboo toothbrushes, reusable bags, things like that. And it didn't go as well. Not a lot of people were into it as I was into it or the way I was into it. So I wasn't selling as much as I could or wanted to and I couldn't add more different stuff to my store that I saw were selling well like I saw like health and beauty products doing well um, athletic stuff doing well and I couldn't sell it in my store because I had a niche store so that was my first mistake I do not do niche stores is what I'm trying to say they will literally limit you on the amount of products that you can put on the store and the type of products that you can test and when you're first started drop shipping you want to be as general as possible I always do general stores in a general store you can sell health and beauty fitness household clothes shoes you can pets you can sell absolutely anything in my general store i can sell environmental stuff if i want to but it gives you the ability to be able to test as many things as you want and not to be like tied down to just one niche so a niche store like i just said the environmental store that i had could only sell environmental stuff one product stores is like getting one thing and i can only sell that one thing so what if people don't want to buy that one thing then i don't have them as customers so i definitely do not do one product stores i always stick to general stores and when i tell people that i have a general store they tell me well isn't doesn't a general store look like a scam like you go to a website and they're selling all different types of products like doesn't it look like scam doesn't it look like scam it will look like scam if you make it look like scam is the only thing i'm gonna say if you don't design your store well if your store literally looks horrible then yeah it's gonna look like a scam store but there's different ways that you can change around your general store for it to look like a branded store that sells a whole bunch of different types of products so today i'm going to give you my top five general store hacks so my first general store hack is to create collections what i do in my store is that i put all of my household products all of my shoes all of my um knickknacks all of like my things that are like similar i put them all in a like in the same collection and this is super cool because i'll change up the collection so one of my collections will be like trending now and it'll be all my top sellers that i know a lot of people are into and i'll put it like all the way at the top well i'll have my banner on my home page and then right under it is going to be my trending now collection with all my best sellers and things that people are going to be looking at first I also have collections gifts for her where people can be like oh gifts for her like easy access to gifts that are going to be good for a woman or gifts for him people can quickly go to it and see a whole bunch of different gifts for men and I kind of separate it like that put things into different collections and kind of like give it dif different names pets household things like that so it is definitely a general store but everything is put together with what it belongs with with what it belongs uh, it's all together. <laughs> all right, so my second general store hack is to create a drop down menu. So instead of having all the way at the top of your website one link that says all products, it can say all products, but if you hover over it, have like a little drop down list of like clothes, shoes, gifts for her, gifts for him, trending now, uh, summer essentials, spring fling sale. Add like little things like that to make it feel more like a store. My third general store hack is to not discount everything if i go into your store make sure not every single one of your products is on sale because that's going to make you look like the flea market of e-commerce stores and you're not a flea market of e-commerce stores you're like your brand like you're a brand now you're this company you're like you're the shit and you're not the flea market of e-commerce stores so don't discount everything what do you want to be known as like does Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, do they have all of their stuff on discount? 
probably not so your sh your store shouldn't do it either but you can have like flash sales like fashion nova and kylie cosmetics do they'll be like flash sale 50 percent off limited time for everything and like that's that's super cool like people will know that you're having like a sale on your store your banner at the top could be like 50 percent off everything until midnight and like create the hype you know keep it like that don't discount everything my fourth general store hack is to have backgrounds on your pictures this is huge this is major especially if you're doing google shopping make sure that your images always have a background in the back so for example if i'm selling this jade roller everyone's seen it this was a super hot drop shipping product i didn't drop ship this but i bought one because these are so amazing so if you're gonna have this on your store don't have it like with a plain white background like people are not going to be attracted to this but if like there's a cool background in the back and then you have like a woman like putting it on her face i'm going to be the woman then it's going to look so much better someone actually using your product with like a cool background or something like that even if you don't have someone using it just this with like a flower background or like a background that is not white is going to make it look so much better my fifth general store hack is to have really short product names i see a lot of people like having super long names for their products like back to the jade roller jade roller pink double-sided soft real jade like you know like super long for what like okay yeah it will help your website seo but remember in the beginning of the video we were talking about scam stores that's gonna kind of make you look like a scam store if you're gonna focus on SEO, make sure that you have your keywords in your description and in your SEO of your product page, but don't stuff your product name with all these words describing the products. Just have it super nice. Jade Roller. You know, like keep it simple, keep it cute, keep it clean. And then I'm just gonna add one more. I said five, I'm gonna do six general store hacks. Is this one super simple? Have a banner on your store all the way at the top whether it's shouting out the discount that you have or for example right now we're going through a huge movement in the united states and actually all over the world black lives matter my store and a lot of stores have shown their solidarity i don't know how to say with the black lives matter movement so what i did and what a lot of huge e-commerce brands did like kylie cosmetics amazon they added their black lives matter banner to their store it's going to show your customers that you're keeping up with the times that this is an active store Store. Um, and not even just with the Black Lives Matter, you can be like, for example, spring comes along, spring fling sale or summer sale, you know, like summer 2020, 20% off type of thing. But just keep it up with the times, like create the hype, make sure like you're creating excitement in your store. And yeah, make your store feel like it's a real brand. These little things that you add to it, like the discount, staying up with the times, good high quality pictures and all these things are going to make your store look less of a scam store and more of a branded store even if it's not like a one niche store it could still be a branded store so those were my top five well top six general store hacks i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't already go ahead and like subscribe to my channel um i'm going to be posting videos all the time on drop shipping e-commerce and just videos that are going to help you with your e-commerce store. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next time.